Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP ZBook Studio 16G10. If you want to remove the bottom plate, you have to undo five Torx head screws. One of them is hidden below the middle area of the back foot. You have to pop the small cap, and then you can undo the screw beneath it. After that, you can pry the bottom panel with a plastic pry tool. The best starting point is one of the two speaker cutouts. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery here is an 86 watt hour unit. If you want to remove it, you have to unplug the battery connector. Then, the next job is to unscrew seven Phillips head screws, which is a bit of a tricky situation because you have to raise manually every screw in order to fully undo it. The battery life is mind-blowing. The capacity is enough for 25 hours of web browsing or almost 17 hours of video playback. Your last task is to remove the NVMe from the single M.2 Gen 4 slot that is also compatible with SED SSDs. As you can see, the NVMe is covered by a metal plate that is making contact with the bottom plate via a thermal pad, and there is another pad on the inside of the element. Memory-wise, there are two SODOM slots for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 4i800 MHz or 5600 MHz memory. The RAM slots are protected by a metal shroud.
The cooling system comprises two fans and three heat pipes, one shared between the CPU and the GPU and one for each chip. We can also spot two heat sinks and some heat spreaders.